businesses, especially e-commerce businesses, it seems. And I think we are very long term. We're under no illusions that this was a one, two, or three-year journey. We knew that this is a this is going to be a very long road to build out this system that we think we owe Nigerians to build out to allow them to consume with dignity and sustainably. I'm not saying that what we're doing is altruistic by any means. We're a business, but I think also what we're doing is building our country. Oh. <laughs> I can sit here and pretend like I see the future or I saw the future when we started. And, but to be more honest, and this is more encouraging to other entrepreneurs who are trying similar things, you just start and then you start to see signs. And the signs that we are seeing today are really, really good. Um, it's been a very interesting three weeks, an enormous amount of hard work. Okay. Um, and um, as we kind of watch the business, we'll be able to share more and more information. But I, as you, you have your dreams and your energy, right. and you build a business, you, you kind of lay it at the doorstep of the consumer and you right. hope they right. value what you're doing. Right. And I think so far it, it, it seems like uh, they value what we're doing. Uh, a very um, intellect intensive business. Um, there's a lot of thought and, and, and um, analysis that goes into this business and we've ignored our education sector for way too long. Everybody that you see in Conga has gone through rigorous interview processes. We really hire the best of the best of the best. The way you can win anything at this game is to think first about the customer. And that's all Conga focuses on. We don't focus on competition. Mm. We look at competition sometimes to try and make life better for our customer. Mm. But at the end of the day, the person that sits on the throne is the customer. Mm. And so long as you focus on the customer, not just in e-commerce, on anything, anything, telecom services, it doesn't matter, you do okay, mm. you do fine. Well. Uh, well, I think there are a lot of things that we have to do to, uh, to succeed. Um, some of those things are connected to... So we build our companies not in isolation. We build them connected to other companies also. Okay. We have to do payments. We have to do logistics. Uh, we need all kinds of back-end systems and back-office systems to run our operations properly. I remember when we first started, we would call some of these back-office companies to talk to, and they wouldn't talk to Conga. And today we're talking to them more and more, and they're willing to sort of deal with us, even as a purchase of their system. They thought you were too small? Yeah, I'm developing isolation. There are a lot of very critical sort of business relationships that we have to form um, with people like Tayo to do um, payments. Because we believe that it must be done. Because we believe that sustainable consumption is inextricably linked to the rise of the human spirit and the human condition. Because we believe Africans have a right to consume. And because we believe deeply that we foreign friends and foreign partners and foreign capital. All of that is not, in, is not sufficient if the local intent is not there, meaning we must do it ourselves. Because we believe this infrastructure has to be built. That is why we're setting ourselves on this journey.